What's up, guys? Silent Boom Ninja here for Mod Madness Mondays, or some, whatever we call a series. Basically, today I'll be reviewing the ICBM, which stands for Intercontinental Ballistic Missile Mod. So, basically, what this adds to the game is coal furnaces, missiles, obviously, a railgun, copper wire, and it's not like I was going to say something else, but no. So, basically, I will show you these TNTs. I won't ruin it for you, though. You'll have to install this, but it's really easy to install because I found an automatic installer for Mac and Windows. So here they are, condensed, rejuvenation, nuclear, EMP, conflagration, anti-gravitational, ethnothermic, antimatter, red matter, which is crazy, breaching, which is pretty lame, sonic, contagious, fragmentation, chemical, incendiary, fire obviously chemical chemical makes your screen go really really weird i'll throw a chemical grenade out to show you incinerator and shrapnel so i'll show you what the chemical is because that's kind of the weird oddball of the group so and i'll get to the missiles later don't worry i'm waiting for them to charge up right now so i'm gonna throw this out and this is what it does kind of lets out all the smoke and makes a weird noise you can push on the ground and then you can hear the gas being released. And then your screen goes all weird. And then you get weakness, or you know, hunger, weakness, poison, and nausea. Whoa. I actually get motion sickness really easy, and this is kind of making me weird. So, yeah. So now we're going to get to the missiles. We're going to start with the most basic cruise missile launcher. And we are just going to get our radar gun. And this radar gun is really great. It designates wherever you want the missile to strike. So I'm just going to go out here with my radar gun. I don't know how far the cruise missile Cruise missile is good, mainly good for hitting walls. So I'm going to... Actually, yeah. Uh, I'll just get to hit the ground. And we're just going to start right here and... Save our coordinates or scan them. And I'm going to bring it back to the cruise missile launcher. And this missile launcher is carrying a ethnothermic, endothermic. Ah, okay. So now we're going to transfer them over by right clicking with our radar gun. It says coordinate information transferred. I hope this doesn't go bad. Now we're going to get a lever. Take out my copper wire and put it next. Pop it down and hope this doesn't do that. Oh no. Oh no, it's. Oh, that was too close. And it does that. And it spreads ice all over the place, which is why I didn't want to do it so close. And it makes you crazy and it gives you frostbite, slowness, and all that. So, yeah. So Winter Wonderland, please stand by while I destroy this. I will show you the other stuff. Okay, so this right here is a laser designator. And I should probably show you, before I show the laser designator, I should probably show you how these are built. This is a tier 1, tier 2, and tier 3 missile stand. Which if you right click on the missile stand, you'll see what missile. If you right click on the missile computer, you'll see that how like the launcher control panel. Okay, okay. These right here are braces. You can set these down behind it to make the inaccuracy go down to zero blocks. I see here. Okay, now we're just going to do some stuff. We're going to first we're gonna launch on oh, not the right matter. Uh, hard to decide. Let's do this one. Okay, so in order to use this we've always seen the radar, right? So we're gonna use this laser designator. We're gonna make sure that there's a frequency set. 148, okay. Now we're gonna right click. Be sure not to click the block next to it. I learned that. Okay, so now it's a laser designator frequency, blah 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 blah. So I'm just gonna go way far away from my spawn. We're going to get right here. Oh, okay, make sure your height is 30 on the missile. Or also just go out and go out and go out and never come back. 
So I'm just gonna right click right here. Let's see if I can get back for launching. So three, two, one, zero. And yeah. Crash. saying the laser designator you can designate any place on the map okay so I'm just gonna go away from this I set the height to 30 you just got to witness the whole building of that right there we depend I am pretend like that never happened okay so get away from that far enough now we're just gonna place down we're not really place down but Shoot the laser out into the sky. And the laser's all set. Right, so, in order to do this, you must set the laser frequency. I knew that. Yeah. I'm super smart. So, it's set now, and we're gonna go out to the desert. Uh, pretty far away from our thing. Jump off right here and shoot the laser right here. It'll we'll make a noise and shoot the laser. As you see, it's up in the air. Up, 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 up. Oh no, this could be too close, I think. And then it's almost there. It's almost made it. It explodes. And this will go all the way to bedrock. It will just keep on exploding until it reaches bedrock and throwing all these blocks up in the air. I will set the height to lower, but um, with the red matter, the explosion would have been so huge, Minecraft would have been sure to crash. So that's why I recommend setting the height at 30. So the actual explosion occurs at block or Z30 or something, or the Y30. And yeah, so it will spray blocks all over the place for eternity so now I'll show you one of the bombs I introduced in the beginning of the video I'm going to show you my favorite one I'm gonna to get to it right here come on yeah okay so I'll be showing the antimatter and this is the only way to stop the red matter from exploding or well, I'm pretty sure it will, oh yeah, the red now will just keep on exploding. It will go down, it will go out forever, pretty much. And let's set this right here. If we can, oh yeah, it lifts you up, so you need to lift every single block up, including you. So make you fly if you're not already dead. It's really laggy right now, sorry. But anyways, if you were to explode one of these antimatter or shoot an antimatter missile at 30 height at the same place, it will work to stop that red matter from moving. Let's see if this game will stop lagging. Yay, 5 FPS. Favorite time. Okay, now I'm going to place this antimatter down. And put a redstone torch next to it. And it'll make a warning sound. 
You can push it actually. No, push it away. 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 Oh, it's about to explode. What do we do? I think this might actually lag my system. And yeah, that would have diffused the red matter. Actually, yeah, that would have diffused the red matter. I see it's opening a huge crater on the map. And I'm trying to fly out, but I can't. I can't now. And that's basically what an antimatter missile would do also. about the railgun. The railgun basically shoots a cave into the ground. I'll let you check that out by yourself with this automatic installer that I found on the internet. And let's fast forward while this gets completely destroyed. Okay, so it's my this is my favorite because I think it's the coolest like crater ever. Like it seems like this would be a good place to make a base and it explodes all the way down to bedrock. Sixty four layers, that's how big this map is, sixty four layers down. And yeah, it's just a really awesome explosive. I guess I'll show you some more since I still have time. I'm not trying to spoil all of it, I'll show you. I'll show you the grenades, which are the smaller weapons, so I won't spoil all the awesome explosives for you. So these are those are other mods, the guns. So I'll get this, 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 and this. We always seen the chemical. Okay, so I'm going over to these like place right here. So this is what a grenade does. One grenade. Smaller than TNT, but you can spam it out. And it will lag your game. So yippee. And, yeah, so I'm gonna reopen Minecraft. Wow. Okay, so I'm back after that lagged my game. And crashed it. So, yeah, that was the grenade. Now we'll be going to the dynamite. Shrapnel grenade. Let's throw that down. That's what shrapnel is supposed to that makes a huge version of this. Basically shoots arrows in a huge radius. Now I will show you the chemical grenade again. If I've always I'm not sure if I or the incendiary grenade, I mean, yeah. Glamo. So that's an incendiary grenade. It's probably one of my favorite grenades because it's so overpowered. So, yeah, that is ICBM mod. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe to the show. And see you later.